What's up, everybody? Oh, aggressive. I'm trying to steal your. No, God. No, I want better. Keep going. All right. Uh, what's up, everybody? This is another episode of my favorite episode of. It's a gorgeous Sunday morning. So what else do you do? You go into a basement and you record a podcast. What's your BFF? Especially when you live in Pennsylvania and we are in the yellow phase. We in the yellow phase. Matt, put some like. <laughs> it's crazy, though, because like things are open and it's weird. Yeah. I don't know. I'm really itching to get to a bar and drink outside, but I just keep thinking about how, like, most bars only have, like, eight to ten tables, so I'm like, am I going to get there, and they're going to be, like, full capacity? Like, 30%. That's, like, low. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for, like, restaurants. Oh, like, me neither. I, I am. Like, I'm like, I'm fine with taking out and eating in my house still a little bit longer. <laughs> Barnaby's deck was, like, bopping. Yeah. On Friday night. I was oh. like, mm. You're scared? I'm scared. <laughs> you scared. You scared. You scared. You scared. No, but it's great. So me and Kathleen are reunited. We're still six feet apart because she just admitted she's afraid. But I ain't afraid. We she's in using person. my box of t-shirts as a table right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Is yeah. that what this is? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is this, this a personal thing? table for it's, me? It's all merch. <laughs> so we're excited. We're back. You know, things are getting better Corona wise and Hopefully that I never have to be far from you again. Exactly. You know, today we're talking about Dead to Me season two. I was thinking about this while in the shower this morning. Ooh. Um, yeah. Tell me more. I'm thinking that we should give a quick recap of what season one's about. Oh Not God. any spoilers, but I'm saying like for people who haven't watched the show, just so we can like give them a summary of what season one was about in case they want to watch it. And then if you are interested in it, pause this episode binge it and then listen to this episode. that's good and i'm not gonna lie like if people listen to these and don't watch like we're like we're doing a season two full series recap and they're just like listening <laughs> i'm like that's just kind of yeah, psychotic sounds like a good show well, you just know, watch though, like yeah. our recap season stuff is like our most listened to stuff like cheer yeah always extraordinary playlists like people are all in on us just talking a full season could you TV. imagine listening to the cheer episode and not have watched it like <laughs> we're just like lexi did this <laughs> oh my god and we never even talked about the fact that lexi uh, liked our post. Oh, uh, yeah. I cannot fame. believe that. That was like 17 years ago. True fame. Which was <laughs> awkward because of all the people that could have listened to that episode, Lexi was the one that you guys went the hardest on where I was like, God, I hope Lexi doesn't listen it's to it. It's because we believed in her the most. I don't actually think she listened to it, though. No, I, I think, think she, she got did. tagged in the picture and just double tapped. <laughs> <laughs> we're all guilty of it. But we were, we were rooting for her. It's not like we were trashing her. We were just like, you should have been better we wanted you to be better i like that kathleen's comment is almost as backhanded as mofo jones being like julie it's not an insult when i say that you're like your brother brian it just means that he's always unprepared for his show too. the worst part about that is 90 percent of the time i am a thousand percent unprepared <laughs> like i'll get here and be like we're talking about this and they'll be like no nope, we're not <laughs> uh script has been flipped because i just finished dead to me season two one hour ago <laughs> and i have barely thought it through at all yeah so um julie's gonna do the season one recap because i haven't do this seen this entire it episode kathleen just came for the intro and now she's leaving yeah Bye. uh see ya <laughs> so dead to me season one just in case anyone hasn't watched it basically it is about a woman whose husband dies what are you laughing at basically it is about <laughs> the way you said that. yeah because i started to get sweaty and it forgot what it was about <laughs> i forgot what it was about i was trying to talk slow oh god mopo jones you've really put a lot of pressure on me <laughs> i i can't, i'm like living to just please you at this point <laughs> so it's about what is it about? Okay, no, it is about okay. Christina Applegate's character, which I'm going blank on her name. Jen. Jen, okay. Her husband passes away, um, so she starts going to this uh, grief-like group, um, and she meets this woman named Judy. They become pretty tight. They become friends. There's a lot of twists and turns. I'm not going to get into what they are because if you haven't watched season one, I don't want to spoil anything for you. But it's pretty fucking crazy. Season one is so good. I binged it probably, I think, like late April, not realizing that season two was coming out like a week later. So I timed it actually perfectly. I'm the best. So it's really good. Check it out. If you haven't watched it, you will get through it very quickly. The episodes are only like 30 minutes. My favorite kind of thing. Yeah. My favorite thing in the world is when episodes are only like 20 minutes. Yeah. I don't know what took me so long to binge season two. It came out 
like exactly a month ago and it took it takes you like two sit downs to watch it because yeah. it's only five hours total of well your- so it did actually take me like a couple weeks to binge it and i think mainly because season two gave me so much anxiety yeah um we talked about this before like the whole time you're just like they can't get away with this yeah like it's just it's okay crazy. so if you yeah, don't want spoilers point for sure pause it bounce and we'll talk to you later yeah but so season two opens and the main thing is like okay what's happening with steve hot hot james mars and he has to come yeah. back so jen kills steve yeah, but do we know at the end of season one that he's dead? Like he's underwater and there's blood. Like do do are we like oh like there's for a, sure? I think it's like a lot. hint. Yeah, I was yeah. Gonna say, there's not a whole lot of times where someone's floating face down in the water and no one's making an effort to pull them out of the water where they're going to survive that. <laughs> yeah, and usually the bleeding of the head for me is like oh they're dead, yeah. which isn't even actually true. But. So then we find out very telenovela esque is um, a semi identical twin, which I actually read up on this because I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And it's like there's only been like two cases ever, which is just hilarious. <laughs> Far and it's like two sperm, one egg, which I think um, fraternal twins are sperm, egg, sperm, egg, right? I think so. And then yeah. ident- identical is like this the separates. Same, yeah, the know. sperm same is egg. Yeah, 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 something like that. Wow. Um, class. I didn't know that. But any it's of that. cool. I, I mean, I like, I'm in for any stupid, crazy, like, <laughs> plot thing, but I like that James was probably hyped because he got to play a super mega dick in the first season, and now he's playing this, like, goofy chiropractor who doesn't know anything about anything, and he's just, like, happy to be here. Yeah, what a cutie. James it's, Marsden is so cute. Yeah, it's like an actor's dream. Well, yeah. And, like, you guys both mentioned this season's really stressful, but I think it's also, in a lot of ways, one of the funniest. Like, I think it's a funnier season than season one. Because they really lean into like stuff like that, like the the semi identical twins is like it's kind of funny. But then knowing that there's only ever been like two cases, it's yeah. such like a deep joke. That's like I think that they were having a lot more fun writing this season. Yeah, I was gonna say I would want to be friends with who writes the show. It's like Christina Applegate's character is just so funny. She's amazing. Both Everything of them are honestly Judy so and Jen. Funny. The chemistry between them yeah. carries the show. It's so good. Yeah. Th- any other, like, personality traits in these two wouldn't cling together, but, like, sh- they're just such polar opposites. It's hysterical. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Julie, you mentioned when you first brought this up a couple weeks ago, the the bird in the first season, and there's a line similar to that that I actually think is kind of funnier in the first episode of the second season where they're su- her son asks why the pool's closed. <laughs> And they tell him that a dog died in the pool. And he goes, I'm not hungry anymore. And Christine Applegate goes, the dog would really want you to eat, honey. (laughs) Dude, she's hilarious. She's savage. I'm a big fan of her. So as Kathleen said, the beginning of uh, or the end of season one, you see Steve just lying in the pool and you're like, oh, fuck. Then you find out in the first episode of season two that he is definitely dead. They closed the pool. But here's my thing. When they closed the pool, I thought they closed it because his body was in there. Me too. So when she, I think it's like the second or third episode when the neighbor opens the pool. I was like, no. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm like trembling. And and like Christina Applegate like looks like she's concerned too. And then he's not there. So then I'm, so then I'm thinking, oh, he didn't die. He got out. Well, that's exactly what I thought, too. Uh, maybe they were playing us in that, and then James Marsden shows up at the door. I know. And then eventually I was like, okay, well, maybe she like she killed Ben, and that is Steve still alive. I was like, what's the twist? I was like, there has yeah. to be some sort of twist with the twin. But I liked that there wasn't. I liked that he's genuinely just like an innocent just guy twin. who, like, and is like, I cannot believe that Christina Applegate's character is, like, getting involved with him i'm like you killed his brother yeah. and you're fucking his twin i know <laughs> it's unbelievable they brought in the neighbor Weirder a lot things more have in happened. this season karen too. yeah which i like they she brought- oh yeah she's so weird when when <laughs> judy is running down the street and she's like blocking her like when judy's just, like freaking the fuck out in the last episode trying to like get out and <laughs> judy or karen just blocking her i'm like i'd knock her out i would yeah. just straight punch her in the face yeah where are we getting out here so <laughs> Where we get out of here? <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to make sure I stay on top of this recap because we have a tendency to like start yeah. giving a recap and then we just start talking about the episode like we brought up what happened and we totally did it. Yeah. <laughs> we always jump from like <laughs> the first episode to the last scene of the last Wait, episode. Well, I had something. When they introduce the paintings become a bigger thing. Yeah. In the oh season. yeah. And oh my God. 
Yes, when you find out about the what is actually good with the paintings, yeah, that is a moment of celebration. There's a lot of like cool nuance. The thing that sucks is that I watched season one and season two like back to back in like a weekend, mm-hmm. so I I forget where certain things yeah, fell happened. as like what happened in the first season versus the second. Yep. So basically, Shen kills Steve because the oh, reasoning nice. is actually real stupid in my opinion. Like, I mean, I guess I get it. Sometimes you just get like angry and you just like kill someone. But for the Do record, you? I mean, he she took a bird and hit him over the head. It's not like she took a gun, and shot him in the face. Like, it's like he could have died. He could have just been like, "What the fuck, man? That hurt." That's true. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, she didn't repeatedly. Did she? No. I, I can't remember now. It was just one strike of the head, right? No, but I think they make it seem like she killed, she shot him at the end. Of, didn't she have a gun? In the end of season one, they definitely try to imply that, that she, she shot, shot him. him. Yeah. yeah, and then you find out that she actually hit him in the head with the bird. Because then the bird is stuck in the... Refresh my memory. Is there a reason why she wouldn't have just been like, fuck, and got manslaughter? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I in every TV show... People do bad things, and instead of just coming forward and working it out because it was an accident, they cover it up, and then it causes more issues. I was going to say, it's usually the crime is more the cover-up after the fact than exactly. anything. So is there anything she was hiding? Like, is she? I it think... would have looked bad because she found out. Everyone had figured out that Steve was the person yes. who killed her husband. So I think in her mind, no one would believe like that he was coming at her yeah. yeah like anything like that like it it would have felt like she actively premeditatedly yeah. got him to her house to kill him yeah i know and honestly you don't ever want your kids to know that you killed somebody anyway like in just in general but like hiding a body is truly insane. Hold on yeah it's not ideal i think in season two they really gave the um older son a bigger role and he's the anxiety one he's the one that's like poking around where he shouldn't be. And, like, mm-hmm. even when they're at the vigil, I know, like, he ended up seeing the car in the pictures, and that's where he, like, made put two and two together. Yep. But I'm just like, Christi- uh, I get Jen's her name, like, cannot control anybody in her life. No. It's like any everybody is causing problems. Uh, yes. Yeah. And, and what do we think about the little girl that kills the bird? Oh, like, my God. Like, what are, nothing came about it, except for, like, it's like, obviously this girl is, like, sociopathic tendencies. It's yeah. weird. But, like, what was the point of that i don't know i think maybe like there was just like a weird foreshadow of her telling her to hide that she killed something like kind of like how she killed steve okay and maybe just like because doesn't she like give her advice like some things are like better let like so you you don't sometimes you need a friend yeah it was like sometimes you need a friend more than the truth is that what it was Mm -hmm. yeah i would have loved for them to go really dark and pin the murder of steve on that little five year old girl (laughs) yeah she's pretty frightening (laughs) yeah she's good though the little boy the little son is so cute oh my god dude when he's in that church choir that sings like oh god when they do forever young by rob stewart i like lost my mind in the jumpsuits that's a good ass halloween costume if you don't do it i'll be pissed because you would do it. <laughs> if I don't do it? Okay, fine. Look, Julie's already said she's Rizzo from Sandra Day, so she can't have two Halloween costumes. Yeah. Okay, fine. So you can either join fine. me or you can go against me <laughs> for best okay. costume. You're either with me or you're against exactly. me. Exactly. So, this just is a like hot mess Kath- recap. Yeah, God, I'm so sorry. I hope we don't lose fans <laughs> over this. Um, just like Kathleen said, the son, the older son gives so much anxiety, like, even when they have this, like, storage space and they hide Steve's car in there to make it seem like Steve, like, just, like, bolted and went to, like, Mexico, I think they say. So when the son finds the car when and, like, that's how the episode ends is, like, him opening it and be like, oh, my God. I at first was like, oh, shit, he knows it's Steve's car. Like, yeah, I didn't right. put, like, anything together of him thinking that it was a car for him. And then the next episode is him just, like, recklessly driving around there wearing, like, his company hat. Like, it's Who's just first a instinct to just take show. the car? Yeah. Yeah, it's a birthday present. Like, such, like, privilege. This must be mine. Oh, my God. And why were the keys in there? I don't know. Everyone, and when they burn it, it's like everyone knows you sink it. Yeah. Yeah. You do not burn it and keep it just so they can find it in plain sight. That was the stupidest thing you could do. Yeah. Especially after the it's all the Parker like stuff with the Instagram. It's Dude, like, I would have drove it into a tree and put Steve inside of it. Excuse me? <laughs> Julie, you... So... She doesn't watch horror I, movies like we do. No, but here's the thing that's bothering <laughs> me. I love you, Julie. That 
is some crazy premeditation. But earlier, you're like, you know, sometimes you just get angry and you murder somebody. <laughs> like, I'm starting to get very concerned about No, you. I mean, I'm saying if you don't want to get caught there, why wouldn't you just, like, you know. Yeah, you have the body. Why not? You have the body. It? Put it in a car. <laughs> no, you you have the car. No, no. The, the autopsy would be like he was bombed in the head 10 days ago. Would it? Yeah, is man. They know when it died. They know when. when it I mean, dies. they had it in the freezer, so you don't know. But, yeah. but like, I'm debating it, if he was charred up, if that would be harder uh, or easier to. to, to but smashing decide. into, she's saying smashing into a tree. They'd be like, he's still frozen. <laughs> he's he's falling out. Him out. <laughs> no, I'm saying like day, like take him out of the pool. The stuff with the freezer and the rats. I was like, I think that. This season got better as it went along. It started but out the first. Rough. It did. I was like, I didn't. I watched three episodes and then I didn't watch it again until they're like, we're doing a podcast episode. And I'm like, fuck, okay, I gotta get on my horse. And I which I them. bet you all regret that we made that decision after listening to this exactly. Episode. Yeah. But I'm just like, I don't. I can't even handle a body in the freezer and having guys in and out with rats. And I, at that point, yeah. I think the body was gone. Yeah. They took it out. Like when the guy, I think they took it out when they like scheduled the guy to come back to like get rid of the rats or whatever. Oh my God. That would be my biggest fear is like rats being in my head. Those are the dude, biggest rats I ever seen. Mice are like my biggest fear. Yeah. So I would die. But yeah. So again, we're kind of jumping, at, jumping into just like telling you about the body in the freezer, but they take Steve's body out of her pool, put it in her freezer, lock it up. And it, it sounds like it's there for like a couple of days. Like they're yeah. just like living their lives. Yeah, it's got to like, be like with two a body weeks, in the fridge. I feel like, yeah, easily. or in the freezer. These two are desensitized to this shit now. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I I, I love mm. the episode or like the part, the scene where Judy's just sitting in there like talking to him. <laughs> and she's like, Judy, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's well, Judy's sad, unhinged though. as shit. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. So Judy's wild. Yeah, I wrote down a scene where um, she's at her job and she like, it's when I guess she's talking to Ben and says like, oh, well, Ju- uh, Jen saw Steve a few days ago. And, and Ben's like, oh, she saw him a few days ago. And she's like, what? Did I, did I say that? And then she goes in the bathroom and just looks at herself in the mirror. She's like, you're so fucking stupid. Just <laughs> shut your mouth. And I was like, it's good acting. She's great, but she's totally unhinged. Like, yeah, I like that off scene. The walls. I was like, yeah. She rats herself out about everything. Oh, yeah. Like, everything. I love her though. Oh, I, Linda Cardellini is like one of the most underappreciated actors. I love out there. like any time that like she'd be like, like with Steve, and then she did it a little bit in season two. T- like she'd be like, "That was mean," and they'd be like, "Sorry," and she'd be like, "It's okay." Like you know, what yeah, I'm yeah, about? yeah, yeah. I mean, well, that's her entire person. Like yeah. her in, arguing about okay. if Sugar Ray is a good band or not in I think it's the second <laughs> yeah. episode absolutely destroyed me. Yeah, <laughs> I just think like I'm. I mean, I'm jumping all people listen to this. They're gonna be they'll, able to follow or watch yeah. the episode. They'll be able to follow, but like. Jen truly can't help herself. She's such a fucking bitch that even when, like, all this shit's happening and she tells Judy's character that, like, he didn't attack me. I killed him because he was, like, basically making me mad. And she's and then Judy, like, forgives her. And she's just like, you will forgive fucking anybody who treats you like shit for, like, a morsel of attention, like, all this stuff. And I'm like... You just told her you murdered her love of her life in cold blood, and now you're yelling at her again. I know. Like, you can't even help yourself. Yeah, I think that Jen is, like, pretty, like, just as fucked up as Judy. and like Even just, more so, Yeah, maybe. just, like, just different, in different ways. Like, Judy will fuck up, but she still wants to be, like, this per Like, she's just, she means well. Yeah. Like, she's fucked up, but she means well, whereas Jen is just a fucking bitch. Yeah. And she knows that, like, She's a hot mess, but she'll continue to just, like, treat people like shit. Like, even to her son, like, with the fucking bird in season one. I you know. just let him think it was her fucking dad? Well, it was, an, it was awesome. Like, Christina Applegate's acting when she's sobbing and being like, I, my husband fucking hates me. My kids hate me because he was like, like, she's mad. She was killed Steve because he was basically like, he wanted to get away from you that bad. He killed himself because of it. He threw himself in front of the car and she's just like, it's like really spiraling. And it's like, it's true. I, I was, I'm the worst. Like, I'm just the yeah. worst person. Like, mm-hmm. someone would just die to get away from me. I'm like, oh. But I think that's the strength of the show is that it's literally like the two people that you are following are on paper extremely unlikable so flawed. characters. Yeah. But like, there's something so likable about them despite the fact that they are 
written to be characters that you should despise. How about when Judy had just had sex with uh, Michelle, and Michelle goes in the bathroom, and she's just like, I love you. <laughs> 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 I loved that addition, by the way. I liked, I love her from Parks and Rec, so I was yeah, happy they added her. She's like always been uh, Natalie Morales is mm-hmm. her name. She's an actress that I've been following forever because she's always like almost famous. Yeah. Like like she was on a very short lived show that was kind of like an American version of Doctor Who called The Middleman where she was like the lead. Yeah. And it got canceled after like four episodes. Like she's always like almost there. Always the bridesmaid. Never yeah. The bride. Why did you do that? <laughs> She's trying to get your attention. <laughs> she said, "Always the bridesmaid, never the bride," and then like leaned over to me. I it was more less of a didn't doing. have anything to do with what I said, and just that Julie was kind of staring off, and I wanted her to look at me. <laughs> well, it felt like your full body did a wink. Is I did. What... <laughs> like, I was like, well, what? I was gonna wink with my left eye, and then it didn't close all the way. So then I <laughs> just moved squinting your whole body <laughs> and leaned towards her. <laughs> Yeah, it was, that was weird. I don't know why you did that. I don't know. I was just trying something new. You looked like you looked. I like, didn't like it. Don't do it like again. The double dutchers. <laughs> <laughs> no one gets it, but uh, anyways, shit. Um, I need to know if either of you called that Michelle's ex girlfriend was the cop because I a thousand no. percent did. I did not. I didn't. I wasn't even thinking. I was just watching. I yeah, like, oh. you weren't like into it. <laughs> I love. Okay, for the record, like season one happened. I just was reading through all my tweets because quarantine is so boring that I re- read until like early 2018. I remember being like, Jesus. <laughs> "Dead to me is insane. I love it. It's so good. Everyone needs to watch it." I remember watching it like the day it dropped. I was yeah. so hyped. But I'm. I don't know why this season didn't make me go like. I don't know. I think it's a weird time for everyone right now. Yeah. Getting into stuff too is like, like I actually was getting tired of binging stuff. Well, like, yeah. with, cause like it was like my, right now I'm still working from home, but like my quarantine was like Monday through Friday, get up at this time, like make my coffee at this time, sit down, do this for eight hours, yeah. then do this. Like it was such a like, oh my God, I feel like I'm living the same day over and over. And then it was like, on the weekends, find like finish a series, like bin- so I'm like over binging stuff. Yeah, you just want to do anything, different. anything else. So yeah. like I think that's a part of it too. Like once like May came, it was like all right, like that like the first day of quarantine, I was like this is great. Yeah. I never yeah. like seeing people. Like yeah, I am yeah. just gonna stay in my house and like do what I want to do. And now it's like I miss everybody. I think Netflix also rolled out in the pandemic real hard with the like the one two punch that was like Love Is Blind and tiger king coming out right as quarantine happens Mm -hmm. and i don't think they've had anything that's really captured the public's eye like that since so like everything just kind of feels like space force was not good i was so disappointed it wasn't i didn't watch that i called it space forced like it's just Uh, everything is like we're funny right like look at how funny we are like we're being funny and i'm like oh off topic but did you see that carol baskin's got joe exotics zoo zoo no. Yeah. You better stop. Oh, I ain't playing. God. Bacon, <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> so, does everyone like this episode? <laughs> I was going to say, let's just turn this into another quarantine one, because I did yeah. watch something good on Netflix that I wanted to talk about, but I guess we can wait. I know. I actually, I do want to do one last quarantine episode, because um, I also watched a couple things. Did you? I did. Uh, I also, um, before we get back to that to me, I just want to announce that, uh, and Matt, please, um edit some horns in again that i finally said on the podcast i want to watch this show and i actually started it and it was jane the virgin (laughs) how many episodes have you gotten through six night it's good right oh it's so good i was like i texted kathleen yesterday (laughs) kathleen is like the worst person to text she answers when she feels like it which is like really fucking annoying (laughs) she'll she'll answer (laughs) i'll go like three days thinking like did i say something wrong and then all of a sudden i'll just get like 40 responses. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, she's actually the fucking worst. It's funny because you think like in quarantine, all you do is stare at your phone. But I, I like, especially recently, I'm just like, I'm going to put my phone in another room. Yeah. Like I need it away from my face. Yeah. But it happens like mid conversation, which is the part that's really strange. Yeah, it's like, like disappear. Yeah, like you'll like... follow up and then there'll be like a nice back and forth. And then I'll be like, oh, so like, what's the plan for your podcast on Monday? And then it's like three days later, you're like, well, we're going to record <laughs> Yeah, she's like actually the worst. I was like texted. I texted her maybe ten times about Jane the Virgin, and like what? she'd answer no, one. D- d- <laughs> You're stuttering. I actually texted you so many. Yeah, I don't even think you finished 
um, responding to me. But the so one thing think? that I said oh, was yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. I was pissed that I had plans this weekend because I just wanted to sit at home and binge. Okay, it. here's the thing. What? Julie says... She's basically asking for a spoiler in this text. So, of course, I'm not going to answer it. And then (laughs) this is actually really funny for any Jane the Virgin heads listening. She texted me and said, I feel like Petra's mom's going to look like. Wait, no. (laughs) I feel like Petra's mom's. I can't read. I feel like Petra's mom lo- looks like what Miranda Lambert is going to look like when she's 80, which is so spot on. Just missing. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Never mind. Sorry. I was going to spoil you. But just wait. That even just becomes more and more true. Oh, my God. We're going to have to cut this all out. No. Leave her trying to read that. <laughs> I don't want to change your opinion. Like, I don't want me to be Team Michael or Raph, and then you'd be like, oh, maybe. Maybe I should be Team Michael or Raph. Be your own person. Yeah. Like... <laughs> That makes sense because I remember when I was watching Game of Thrones and I would like text shit to. Horrible episode. This is the worst. Yeah, this one is the we've worst. Ever done. I would text Brooke and I'd be like, "Oh my god, like Sansa sucks so bad." And she'd yeah. be like, Don't worry, she gets a redemption story. And it's like, in retrospect, I kind of wish that I didn't know that. Like, if I continued watching, I would grow to love her because yeah. Like because... then I was just like looking for it. I was like, okay, where's it gonna happen? Yeah. Like... Oh god, I hated fucking Sansa in the beginning. Like, <laughs> I know. I mean, her. you couldn't like. I'm her. reading the first book right now, and I hate her all over again because yeah. she's like oh Joffrey he's so handsome <laughs> oh my so god so handsome that British accent I know perfect, perfect. right alright edit all that out <laughs> not uh, me announcing okay, that I'm, uh, I've started we're starting over what's up everybody this is another episode <laughs> of my favorite episode of we're doing dead to me we're doing dead to me series 2 British oh, we... we're British it's a cockney <laughs> accent Oh. Hello. I think <laughs> I think I will good lady. Pip pip. Oh my god. This Tally ho. We should just end this. No, it's fine. So, what is so does anyone have favorite moments or episodes from the second season? Oh my god, it's all blur. So, well, let's let's just actually finish the recap, I guess. <laughs> like we this didn't even so finish. We We're not going to be able to anything. Like what is happening? This is how unnatural it is for us to finish a recap is that trying to do so is like holding up the sh- <laughs> I know. Um no. I will say this is another random thought I had. I would love to date a chef. Would love it. I would love to date a chef. Any chefs out there? Who's a chef? Hit me up. Michelle Oh, like when they go and she just like cooks all this amazing stuff for her. And I'm just like, yeah, please uh, reach out to the uh, direct messages of my favorite app of on if Instagram. If you are a chef, hot chef. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> oh now you're little... adding extra requirements. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Seeing someone's true colors. Yeah. Hmm. Very superficial. <laughs> I just want to be fed. <laughs> <laughs> but fed by someone who's hot. Who's hot. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> as I was saying, so I, um, I'm, I'm the best, and I called that the uh, Michelle's crazy ex girlfriend was the cop. The cop fucking hates Judy. She's like real suspicious of Jen. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone is because they're just like, you two had something to do with this. This guy just went fucking missing, and yeah. you guys are acting like you don't know, but like I know you know. This is just gonna be me giving a quick one minute recap. No one talk, and I'm gonna crush this. That sounds and awesome. then you know whatever. So you know all that happens whatever then jen and well we didn't even talk about this but jen and judy are like all right we got to get rid of this um body in the freezer and they're like okay so what should we do oh you know what let's just bury it right like no one will find it ever we'll just bury it you want to go to the woods let's go let's fucking go they bury his body they're like oh yes no stress well (laughs) that's not how it happens guys you're gonna get caught okay let's not be fools here so of course the ending episode is this woman walking her dog and her dog starts sniffing around, digging. What do you think they're finding? Steve's body. Yeah. Boom. Season three. But the reason that you're probably all like, wait, what? Did that have, is that how it ended? Like, yeah, that's how it ended. But Judy, like, or Judy kind of told on herself. And then Jen also was like, no, it was me. Like, don't listen to her. And then the cops like, you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna say that it was the the it, it was like the chief chief of police or something, right? That was like working with like the doing Greek mob. yeah the Greek mob. <laughs> yeah. So they all they at the end of the day, like the cop slash detective like knows the truth, and they pin it on the chief. Wait, what are you talking about? Pin one on the chief. Steve's murder. Steve's murder. Is that what it is? Yeah. 
Wait, I just thought they pinned him for like being a part of the Greek mob. Like, no, I, they tied it all back to Steve. Like, how, she, when did they say that? Because he has he has voicemails, doesn't he? Yeah. She has the phone, and he has like voicemails or something. Oh, okay, that's right over my head. I thought they just like pinned him for something else, and and the two cop, the cop and Perez were just like, all right, dope, we got the big fish. Yeah, because remember they say um, they find they found the murderer. They call Ben, and Ben's like, I'm gonna go. Get See, th- I thought they just said we found the body, but they didn't find the body. I okay, so we get the <laughs> woman di- get with the dog first, and then we get Ben with his mom at the house packing up and getting the call. So I thought, oh, we actually found his remains. Oh, are you sure? Okay, like that's how I. I saw thought it. that. Oh, wait, fuck. We might have to edit this out. Wait, I ma- thought the la- I thought the last couple minutes of the episode was the dog digging. That's not the no last. It, dog digging. Then I just watched it. Dog digging. Then you get packing up at the house, and then you get the car accident, and then you get the son finding oh, the Judy's letter. Car accident. Oh and then my you find, god. And, and the son finds Judy's letter that was written to her. I don't think it specifically says anything uh, about the murder, but it's pretty much like we did bad things. I love you anyway. Let's don't blame yourself. Take care of my kids. Be the guardian. So the son is going to be like, what the yeah, fuck? What is- yeah. Damn, I really butchered. Well, and, well I butchered. Damn. Well, yeah. how did you see it, Matt? Did you think that? So here's the thing. <laughs> I got through eight episodes without a problem. Okay. The problem started around episode nine when D came downstairs <laughs> thinking that she had also finished watching Dead to Me but had only watched the first season of Dead to Me and just kept interrupting me with questions about, well, why, I don't remember this. Why is this character doing this? So okay. I was like have one foot in, one foot explaining things and sure. missed bits and pieces. I definitely remember the car crash. I don't remember the dog at all. <laughs> I remember Jen and Judy saying, like, both basically confessing at the same time to the same detective and the detective kind of almost... Like the my vibe was almost like y'all are idiots, but you're not going to be like a threat to this society. Yeah. So like, let's just pretend that you didn't confess this shit and see what happens. Give me one sec. I'm about to just wait. Look. I'm googling it too. Can we talk about the car crash? Because so okay, sweet so w- sweetheart Ben seems to have at least one tendency similar to Steve. Yeah, drunk driving. Drunk driving and running away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could so not believe that. Does it, now does he realize he hit them? He doesn't know it's them. They're br- driving okay. that brand new car. That poor brand new car with a bow on oh, it. I oh, I know. Just for the sun. Okay, so this is what happens. Judy's character telling her mom no. Uh, shout out Gemma from Sons Gemma, of Anarchy. Yes. Classic bad mom. Yes. Always a bad mom. Um, never a good mom. No. <laughs> um, and then, then you get um, the woman in the woods finding the dog. Uh, then you get finding the dog <laughs> fi- to dog finding the body. Then you get Judy finding the money in the or knowing that the money is in the paintings. Then Ben. This is so bad. But then Ben gets the call that they found the body and then the car accident. So I, to me, in my brain, and I don't know if I was just being stupid. I thought they pinned just other stuff on him. Like they knew Steve was doing illegal stuff. Like they wanted Steve for a oh, million wait, things. I think you're right. I think they yeah. still think Steve ran off and is like in hiding. No one know only Perez knows that Steve, Steve is, is for sure dead. dead. Yeah. I think okay, yeah. I think what the implication is now that you've ran down that series of events. Sorry. Is, oh, I was like is that Perez was all in on going along with as long as no one finds that body, Steve is in Mexico, right? Yeah. Winky face. And exactly. now that someone's found the body, it's opening up it's a whole resurface. second can yeah. of worms. So my, in my brain, when, when Ben gets the call, he gets the call being like they found a body. And he and you can't hear the... And he's like, I'm going to get some ice cream. Yeah, and, but he's like, Are, you're sure. And, yeah. they're, they're, and he's like, yeah. So he's probably got fucked up. And was just driving around. And it's just like, it's classic. I mean, that was a win for them to get that stop sign. It sucks because, like, Christina Applegate's character in the first season could take the high ground because it was, like, Judy who fucking killed her her husband. And then she killed someone. So now they're both on the same, like, playing field. But she was trying to do good with that stop sign. She gets the stop sign, and it ultimately causes her to get 
smash but they're yeah. both alive at the yeah. end i know yeah. i honestly thought jem was gonna die yeah. i was like you gotta be fucking kidding Dude, me when she is at the town council and the one dude tries to like imply that she's a whore or whatever <laughs> and she just goes and i wouldn't touch you and not just because you're fucking disgusting <laughs> like the way that yeah. she says it dude she's a savage I know. she's so good I don't know who that guy thinks he is like classic just narcissistic yeah, like male who's gonna do shit like that where it's like I'm gonna call you out in front of my peers and not even realize that oh you could call me out because he probably didn't even realize he was doing anything wrong because yeah. men are disgusting yeah, <laughs> Julie, <just> men are pigs <laughs> Julie won't get the reference but he reminded me of Jam in, uh, oh, yeah. in from Parks, Parks and, Rec. and Rec oh my god you just got jammed <laughs> <laughs> well I I think also he thought like like you're about Jen is one of a kind. Like you're messing with the wrong bitch if oh, you're yeah. gonna try to like some pe- some women probably would have been like, oh fuck, like yeah, uh, or, like panicked. Not fucking Jen. Not Jen. So I just want to say that we've been recording for some time now, and we just recapped. I slightly butchered it. Um, Kathleen saved it, and no, we you did- were nailing that. I was like, I was laughing during your because you were just killing that. I would have lost my train of thought ten seconds in. No, yeah. but I also butchered the ending. But this took us that long. It's this forty-five long. minutes. I just checked <laughs> when we Whatever. when we just did it in five minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whatever. Whatever the timestamp is on this episode, know that it is forty-five minutes of recording to get us here. Exactly. <laughs> like- we won't do this again, guys. It, you know, it, it <laughs> sounded like a good idea. Until I, we should have known when Kathleen was like, yeah, I wasn't really into season two. No, no, I didn't say that. What you mean on our, our um, yeah, quarantine like when you episode? Like, yeah, like when you're like, I couldn't really get into it. I just said that it was giving me anxiety. Yeah, and which I, I think it gives you anxiety. You can't lie. Like you're like, there is no way these two aren't getting caught. I know. Like, that's just like that. Like how? And I think the whole time, like I'm like, what are they gonna do? Because there's not. It's not gonna be like. Jen in jail and season two is still yeah. happening. Like there, something's got to happen, and you're just like on that like edge of your seat, kind of like of like being like, how is the how are they getting out of this? Because we know that they're somehow not going to get caught. But I am glad that they kind that they told on themselves and that the the cop who was like a dick to them the entire time, yeah. like just like you're tough. She reminded me of the cop from Pretty Little Liars. Oh yeah. Yeah, I she's agree tough. That. Like I would be scared of her, hundred percent. Were you rooting for Ben and Jen, or were you like, "This is fucked up. She should stop." I want Jen to be happy. Me and Jen are friends. She deserves happiness. No, I, I was kind of like, dude, you know what, Jen, just fucking do it. You're getting away with everything else. Might as well just add this to your list. But uh, I don't know. at the same time, I was like, damn, Jen, this is a risk. Like exactly what you said. Like you killed his brother. Like. <laughs> Killed his brother, and you, like, have him around the house. You know what? Okay, I'm going to even switch gears. You know what the biggest, like, not red flag, I want to say, like, the camera storyline where, like, the neighbor, Karen's like, oh, I saw you you on my cameras. You were here the other day. When she means Steve, but it was Ben, I was like, right there is when Ben should have been, like, that was right after uh, Judy's character was like, oh, yeah, Jen just saw him a few days ago. Oh, yeah. And then Karen's like, Ooh, like I saw you. And then I love when Karen's like, did I just ruin something? I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, but there's so much like footage, the car, like the twin brother going around, like the son just like fucking everything up, the the phone he finds. I'm just like, everything is wrong. I yeah. wonder if, because you always have to wonder like, what's the end game? Like, what's the final yeah. episode? What's like the big thing? And I feel like in a weird way, the final round of this show be it next season or like four seasons from now is that people are just so charmed by jen and judy that it's like it's almost like it it takes a village of people that are all just like turning a blind eye just because they're like well they were in the right and steve's an asshole and just like exactly like his own like i could see it being like his own brother their neighbors the kids like everybody's just like doing whatever they can to protect those two yeah i can't see that this gotta the third's gotta be the last they can't just keep pushing it and pushing it then it's like how to get away with murder it's like Seven seasons of, okay, we killed this person, now we're covering up, but to cover it up, we have to kill this person, and to cover that up, we have to do this bad thing, and then to cover that up, we have to do this I'll, bad thing. I'll quote, yeah. I'll quote our brother, Brian, on this, but he said on an episode of Horror Movie Night once, Netflix's motto is, keep making episodes until a good show isn't good anymore. Yeah. And, like, they and, then make ten, and then make two more seasons and then end <laughs> yeah. it. Like you. 
I'm about to Even put myself I was... through 13 Reasons Why that just dropped uh, this week, uh, and yeah. oof, it's going to be terrible. Yeah. I'm going to hate every second I only of watched it. season one of that. You don't need to watch anything after it. It is such a steep decline off a cliff after yeah. that first well, season. Well, because the book, the, there's only one book, yeah. so yeah. they're just kind of like writing. They're not the, following the a book. The third season's like a weird detective interview murder mystery season. Mm. <laughs> I hate shows that like bring in the kids as part of the investigation where it's like, this wouldn't happen. Yeah. Like this just can't be like <laughs> Riverdale in Riverdale. Lily um, Reinhardt and Cole Sprouse's character are working with the police to help solve crimes. And it's like that just can't be. Yeah. They're 17. They wouldn't be helping. They wouldn't yeah. be privy to this amount of like information. Like right, it just wouldn't right. be. I mean, in those shows defense, you love Scream. And like how often is Nev Campbell over there like helping out the tech- deputy Dewey solve murder mysteries? I would never say anything bad about Scream. <laughs> not once, not twice. Never. It's never. a perfect movie. I actually do love Scream though. That's like one oh, of my favorites. It's a perfect franchise. It truly is. Well... <laughs> I guess we can end this because we're <laughs> not even talking about anything. Dead to me, we're, dead water. We <laughs> have to call this something else. It's like dead to me and also other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 100% Matt, name it that. Yeah, How to struggle through recording a podcast yeah. 101. It's like yes. Sunday morning Sunday stuff. morning rain is falling. Is it calling? Yeah, is the rain calling? <laughs> Hello, Kathleen. It's me, uh, the rain. It's uh, me, the rain. I said calling, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's me, the rain. I cannot get over how much she smiles at me. <laughs> she is beaming all times. I actually love it. It's Just happy to be here. I was going to say, she looks forward to this more than probably most things in her week. Yeah, I, think. I love Aww. it. I just wish, I hate not being prepared in this one. I just finished, so I was like, struggle it's because there's such short episodes that all week i was like oh i can just squeeze them in here 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 and then i didn't do that and i was like fuck i know i was watching it on like walks in the bright sun and i was like i I can't even see the screen i might as well this might as well be a podcast i'm listening to i can't even fucking see it (laughs) i was trying to squeeze it in the last two days in any ounce of whatever that's okay we got through it right just like we got through quarantine again we're back we're back we're better than ever Kind of. Are we? Yeah, we might be worse, actually. I don't don't even know. (laughs) We'll let this one slide, guys. Yeah, I think it was still fun. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. Tune in next week for another episode of My Favorite Episode of... Have a great rest of your week. Also, if anyone has any shows they want us to watch and do an episode of, we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. DM us. us, Let us know. Yeah. All All the contact information's in the episode notes. So, emails social media and if we up. get a request we'll like be on top of it so yeah. we won't it won't be like yeah. this episode <laughs> we won't we won't watch it on walks <laughs> yeah. when someone gives me a assignment then i'm like yes i gotta show up yeah. i've show i i've had big notes for like all of them and this one i have a blank piece of paper in my hand so <laughs> no, that's okay all right. anyway bye, bye. <laughs> This has been My Favorite Episode Of. My Favorite Episode Of is produced by Matt Kelly as part of the Geekscape Network and hosted by Julie and Kathleen. Check out our show notes for all of our socials and email us at myfavoriteepisodepodcast at gmail.com. Rate, review, and subscribe to us on your favorite podcasting apps, and we'll be back next week with another episode of My Favorite Episode Of. You're listening to the Geekscape Network. What pen all that is better than Oh, I was like mouthing what you were saying. Is is better than one. I was thinking two becomes one by the Spice Girls. And then and tonight is the night when three becomes becomes one. one, I thought. I need some love that I'll never need a love before. Wait, hold on. Three why would three become one? Yeah, it's always two becomes one. Oh. I don't know. Because they're talking about sex. Oh, they are. Sex. <laughs> like, I didn't realize that. About when, sex. Yeah, I didn't all realize right. that when I was in elementary all, school. Baby, all through the night, I make love to you like you want me to. And I, and right. I guess it's just a woman. All moment. right, dead to me. <laughs> I'm yeah. really curious about if any of that makes it. <laughs> You're listening to the Geekscape Network.